Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to talk about uh, DDoS classifications. A uh, DDoS attack can, can be classified uh, to numbers of ways. The first one, based on uh, its uh, archi uh, architecture, which is uh, direct or uh, reflected. The second classification, the resources it, de it denies, like the bandwidth exhaustion and the service, uh, server resources as well, like the websites and different application servers. The, the difference between the direct and uh, the reflector, as we can see in this diagram, uh, is uh, the direct DDoS attack, which is the attacker will send or will, uh, will flood the victim where, uh, with a spoofed IP address, which is the IP address of the receiver. So as we can see here, for instance, if this IP address is uh, 192.0.0. Uh, for instance, 3, it will send uh, a packet to the victim, which is, for instance, has the IP.4. So. Um, the message that it will send it will contain the IP address of the receiver which is let's say it's 5 so uh, the source IP address is uh, 5 and the destination is uh, the victim destination which is 4 so it will uh, uh, the victim will receive that and reply to the receiver. On the other case, the reflector, the attacker will uh, will send uh, deny uh, will flood the packet to uh, the receiver. Like for instance, uh, he, uh, he will send the same message and with. Uh, with the spoofed IP address, let's say this one is 3, and this one is 4, and this one is 5. So he will uh, send a sync request and uh, he will put the IP address of the victim IP address. So the, the receiver. Uh, will send SYNAC to the victim and the victim will contact the receiver and there's different type of attack it's not only the TCP as we say the direct attacker uh, attacker arranged uh, arranged to send a large number of at uh, attacks packet directly toward the victim which is maybe uh, using uh, zombies to do that and a reflect a reflector attack which is indirect attack and it will send to another receiver which that receiver will flood to the victim and we can see here the uh, architecture of both types which is here the direct we can see here is the direct the direct uh, uh, DDoS and uh, this is the attacker which has a master handler which is like PC controlling zombies under it PCs 
and all of that connected to the attacker so he will tell this PC to attack this victim and this PC it will issue to these two PCs and then they will flood the whole victim with a server or service or anything but uh, here it's the same but just we have a reflector so it's not directly through the zombies the zombies will flood this uh, this reflector the reflector will reply to the victim so uh, here the, the attack contain uh, two stages which is first is to find the vulnerable host to put like uh, software to automatically attack to to make the zombies through uh, vulnerable hosts and then after forming the zombies the attacker will send command to the zombies or the handler will send it to the zombies and finally uh, 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 the, uh, the zombies will send or flood whether the, the victim or flood the reflector uh, will flood only the victim because this one is direct uh, will flood the victim using the spoofed IP address the reflector DDoS attack which is uh, same exactly same but the, the only difference the zombies uh, will flood the reflector which is a third party like for instance another server or something and that third party component computer or server it will uh, reply to the victim and this one is the most uh, dangerous and it's hard it's hard to detect and as well it's amplifi uh, amplify the, the traffic or flooding because it has maybe high bandwidth connection the second type which is uh, the reflector it has uh, different types under it which is we have a smurf attack uh, send flooding, uh, reset the connection flooding, um, ICMP flooding, DNS reply flooding and as we can see here uh, this is the, the packet sent uh, by attacker to a uh, reflector which is in smurf case the attacker will send ICMP echo queries to the whole uh, subnet or broadcast address and this uh, reflector will send uh, to the victim the response because uh, what it does here the attacker will spoof the IP address of the victim so it will all the replies will go to the victim from the lef uh, reflector so in this uh, smurf case ICMP echo replies will be sent to the victim and in sync flooding it will open a uh, half way connection we will see later and the the TCP it will send basically it will send same and to the re uh, reflector and the reflector will reply with SYNAC to the victim uh, the other type is RST flooding which is um, the attacker will send TCP packet uh, to non-listening TCP port for the reflector so the, lef the reflector will reply to the victim with uh, RST packet 
and the fourth one is ICMP flooding there's different category under it which is uh, it can be ICMP uh, using e uh, eco queries or it can be a UDP packet to uh, non-listening UDP ports or it can be IP packets with low TTL low number of hubs or will re it will uh, the, the reflector will send back uh, it's like the time is it's XTD message so it's like the, the number of hubs become zero so the, the reflector will reply to the victim telling it that uh, the packet didn't uh, reach and the hub number of hub is, is zero the last type is the DNS uh, reply flooding which is sending a DNS uh, query to the DNS server the DNS server will reply with uh, will reply these queries and it's much uh, larger than I mean the impact is high because the, the, the size of the data is quite big as we mentioned before uh, the DOS attack can be classified to uh, these categories based on the resources it denies like bandwidth uh, server resources and the bandwidth attacks uh, aim to disable service uh, provided by victim it will uh, disable that uh, service by sending uh, a huge volume of useless traffic uh, the, ser uh, the server resources exhaustion uh, it will uh, flood it with uh, send packet this is the common way to do that so it will establish uh, establish a lot of connections and it will uh, it will make the people who want to establish connection with the server uh, will not uh, they, they won't a they won't be able to to do that because it's, it's it's full full of connections one if of the problem in detecting uh, the denial of service attack which is uh, flash uh, crowd and bandwidth attack uh, it's it's really hard to detect whether these uh, users are are real or they are they are just uh, they are just flooding the server for instance we can do that by uh, measuring the bandwidth and also considering about considering about the time of the server for instance like in Swinburne when they release the uh, the results for the students a lot of, uh, of uh, students they, they access to the blackboard to check at the same time so a lot a lot of uh, requests to the server so the server sometimes will, will hang and if there's a huge volume of traffic going by a, a big number of users so the server might like uh, shut down or, or stop functioning uh, any method of identification need to be able to distinguish between flash crowds and DDoS attacker uh, maybe uh, regular and uh, predictable 
which is like uh, for instance uh, stock exchanging prices at opening time or irregular and predictable which is uh, like this uh, sport event or like for instance the, the result application maybe uh, irregular and unpredictable like terrorist attack the uh, bandwidth attack is uh, unresponsive uh, unresponsive unres to the, the traffic control which is like for instance will establish, establish like a halfway connection uh, while the flash crowd they are responsive to a traffic control which uh, they, are, they will establish the, the whole connection and those verifications uh, one way to prevent flash crowd is to get users to verify some uh, aspect of, of uh, their usage like for instance in uh, Google sometimes if you uh, are flooding the, the server or, or accessing uh, from suspicious IP address it will uh, ask you to verify that you are a normal user not someone flooding the server like sometimes it, it will give you a caption uh, and tell you that uh, verification um, uh, I am human or something like that and uh, the traffic in uh, the traffic will be detect uh, the traffic in the flash crowds is genuine while the bandwidth uh, attack is not which is it's basically to attack and the traffic uh, in flash cro uh, crowds is usually with traffic while in the bandwidth attack it can be anything useless usually like some weird character or something DDoS attack type uh, types uh, sync flooding, uh, TCP reset, uh, UDP flooding, ICMP flooding and DNS request. The first type is uh, SYN flooding, the most commonly used and powerful DDoS attack. Uh, attackers can send a SYN message with spoofed IP address caused half open TCP connections. Uh, these pending connections are kept in uh, server memory, the server's memory, uh, at the victim network. Once the memory is full, no new requests, including legitimate requests, uh, can be processed and the service of the system are disabled. We will talk about that. Uh, this is the uh, TCP IP uh, three way handshake, which is here uh, the client will send a synchronization request to the server. The, the server will reply with uh, SYNAC, and the client will confirm the request and reply with acknowledgement. So the server will remove the request from the pending connection stack and the connection will be estab uh, established so in uh, send flooding the attacker which is uh, this client is uh, the attacker it will send uh, synchronization and the server will send SYNAC back but there's no response of course but this is the this is the attacker it will send to the server and the server will send to the spoofed IP address actually which is uh, the victim this is uh, a kind of protection it's in cookies 
will use uh, uh, it will basically it will like uh, register the like the users and if there's a new user it will drop one of these users and put the new user so but this one is uh, yeah but this thing will will slow down the process or make it more complicated uh, the, the, the second one is uh, TCP reset which uh, the reflector attack uh, will send TCP packet with spoof source IP address to a uh, non-listening port on the victim and uh, and the victim uh, usually uh, responds with a reset message so it will uh, cause uh, congestions uh, on the victim and coming link again this attack uh, exploits the vulnerability in TCP protocol the receiver accept the uh, reset packet without checking the sequence number and the acknowledgement number uh, UDP flooding it will uh, flood the victim with large UDP packet uh, UDP, uh, UDP traffic does not react to the traffic flow control there's no controlling of the connection like uh, TCP it will just send and there's no uh, no connection established uh, this is as we can see here the attacker and uh, the attacker will flood the uh, UDP with the spoofed IP address to the victim so it can send it to here without any problem usually it's sent to UDP ports uh, it's actually sent to UDP ports to the victim and which is uh, he can even send through the internet I mean it's commonly used uh, the fourth type is ICMP flooding which uh, flooding the victim with ICMP uh, packets ICMP can uh, be re uh, directed to an individual machine or broadcast to an entire network to broadcast the whole network and flood the network smurf attack Smurf attack is a type of ICMP flooding uh, where the attacker use ICMP echo request directed to IP subnet broadcast address. Smurf attack uh, not DDoS attacks restricted restricted to single subnet and easy to be filtered. This is the Smurf attack. The attacker will send uh, ICMP echo to the subnet and the subnet will, uh, will send the ICMP uh, reply to the victim. Uh, the the fifth one is DNS request attack. The attacker send DNS uh, exclusive uh, queries with a spoofed IP address, so it will send a lot of query uh, to the DNS server, and the DNS will send it to the victim. And which this one has much larger packet size, so the bandwidth will be uh, amplified. And this one is difficult to recognize the tag and stop it and stop it without uh, affecting normal services can be managed with dynamic firewall uh, 
as we mentioned, as we know, the dynamic firewall before. <coughs> In conclusion, um, my friend talked about uh, a DDoS attack, what they are, how they are carried out, and me, I, I talked about the classification of the DDoS attack and send cookies as well. Thank you for listening. And if you have any question, you can uh, drop me an email. Four two three nine five hundred and twelve. Thank you.